As many of you know, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters 2 is currently in development with the script now ready to go. However, the film has hit a setback as writer-director Tommy Wercola has announced he won't be returning to direct the sequel even though he's completed the script. Amy Rose, do you think Wercola's departure will cause problems for the project? I could care less about this project. <laughs> Good for you to bow out of this one, my man. Um, I'm sure some people still enjoyed it. I thought it was a god-awful mess, and it was no fault of the two leads, because they're fantastic, and I love Renner, and I love Gemma. I think she's a doll and a good actress, and, but I just, it just, it was just not funny enough to be funny, not clever enough to be clever. It just, it didn't, it danced that line between, I feel like, not knowing what it was. So I personally didn't think it was that great. Um, so good for him to step away. He must agree, but no, I think that there is enough demand for this. Obviously, I might be in the minority here, so I don't think it's going to derail it too much. I think that someone else will probably get on board fairly quickly. Yeah. All right, so this is the guy who made Dead Snow, which and, if you haven't seen. And Dead seen, Snow 2, which is coming right, out. Right, so Dead Snow 2 is coming out, and he made that. He also made Hansel and Gretel. It, it was released PG-13, and I was like, I'm not seeing it. Because I knew there was an R-rated movie coming out, and I knew his cut was, like, cramped down. Wait, was it released PG-13? Yeah, it's there's okay, an unrated. For, for, for instance, I had in my head that it was released there's rated R. There's a crazy R. unrated. You know what? Check online. I might be wrong, but I heard there was an unrated version coming along because he was super pissed that they, you know, Took his and cut it, cut it down a lot of scenes, so I saw it on cable and I really liked it as like a crazy weird, mm -hmm. you know, it's like not really paying attention, eating a donut, like checking my <laughs> checking my phone type of a movie. Oh, there's a witch, you know, like it's that kind of a film. So if you go see it in the theater, you with know, you're popping or laughing with your friends or whatever. It's not like a serious film, but I think maybe he left due to the same type of thing where they're like. We can't have the witch eat the baby. He's like, I'm out! I think it's just one of those things. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised. Guess maybe it was PG-13. I'm looking around. I can't find it right now. No, it was rated R. Okay. Uh, MPA rated R for strong. Because I remember, there was a lot of violence in that film. Like, especially when uh, Edward, the big overstep, coming out and starts killing all those guys. That was pretty graphic. It's even more graphic, though, the one I saw. So right. I can't really, I can't, I don't know how much more graphic, but this one was like, whoa! <laughs> so yeah. I... I'd be interested. I'm that. actually one of these guys that I did not hate the first one. I thought it was kind of cute and was kind of clever. Cute? Was it trying yeah. to be cute? I actually found it to be a little bit cute, <laughs> a little bit clever, and a little bit funny, and the action, some of the action stuff was pretty good. Now, unfortunately, that was also balanced against a lot of stuff that didn't work. Yeah. So I, I didn't walk out of Witch Hunters going, hey, you should go see this movie, but you I didn't hate out, it as much I as you No, I didn't hate it. And the fact that it made like $200 million kind of made sense that I mean, there's what can't you do? You have two really good stars in this. Gemma, you do. Gemma's incredible. She's amazing. In she this. is also to get shallow for a second. She is also like really one of the most beautiful women in the she's world. Gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous, and she sold me as an action heroine mm -hmm. in it. And uh, we all know what Renner can do in an action franchise. Mm -hmm. Now, how much will this affect? I think this will have a bigger effect than people think because let not forget this guy didn't just direct the first one. He also wrote and direct the first one, and he wrote the screenplay for this one. And it's always kind of cool when you get the guy who wrote the film to also direct it, because who else knows the script better than sure. the guy who wrote it? So I think it'll have a little bit of an impact, but maybe it'll be positive, maybe it'll be negative, I don't know. Right. Uh, but ultimately, you know, we'll just have to wait and see when the film comes out. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.